In this video, I'm going to show the process to replace an animation. I've downloaded a rolling animation from Mixamos, so let's import the files. Remember that our controller is driven by root motion using humanoid, so let's change the animation type. If you hit play, you will see that the animation is glitched and with a weird foot rotation. This happens because we didn't set up the original model of this animation as reference. To fix this, you will need to have the original model of the animation set up as humanoid and update the reference clips. If you go back to the animation clip, you will see that now it has a source of the original avatar. If for some reason the Unity does not update the source, you can do it manually by changing the avatar definition to copy from other avatar and assign it. Now your animation will work perfectly. Let's just set up the, uh, up the rotations of the animation root motion in order to the character roll forward. And now the animation clip is ready to be replaced. We already have a row forward state, so we can just replace the animation clip like this. And let's give it a try. Great, the animation works perfectly. And you can see the bull row forward turning true and false again on the debug window. If for some reason the bull does not return to false, or the animation keeps repeating itself, that's because the exit time of the animation is different from the exit time of the script that turns the bull false again. They need to have the same value. You can see that the exit time value is 0.85 on the animator window. So let's open up the third person controller and go to the third person animator that handles all the animation behavior. Go to the roll forward method and here we have if crouch and state info.normalized time, which is the exit time of the animation by the way, is greater than 0.85, then rolling is false. Just make sure to keep both with the same value and everything should work just fine. That's it for today guys. If you have any questions just leave it a comment or send us an email. See you next time.